Bauhaus stood for courage to question convention. The design was authentic, experimental and visionary. Where are the parallels between Bauhaus and Porsche? What was special about the Weisenhauf settlement? Back in 1927, it was intended as a kind of an experiment, using new materials and rational building methods. It proposed modern living solutions for city dwellers. Shadows, colors, light, details. Together, they produced a synthesis of the arts. What the design of the 718T and Bauhaus share is that they made decisions based on phenomena of their respective eras. The 718T expresses this in the omission of elements that distract. Bauhaus reconsidered design against the backdrop of industrialization. The pure functionalism became clear in the interior. We have no elaborate lighting or instruments. It's all about the driving experience. I think the 718T poses interesting questions that are essential. I think that a few years ago leaving out the entertainment system in a vehicle would not have raised any questions. Today, one notices that something is missing and then has the space to focus on other things. From 100 years of Bauhaus, I think we can learn that having the guts to free yourself from conventions really pays off. Addressing the phenomena of an era through form, through design, through art, and thus creating possibilities for something new. The Porsche 718 T variants take up station between the standard and S models. Power holds steady at 300 horsepower from the base 2.0 liter turbocharged 4, as does the choice between a 6 speed manual or the 7 speed dual clutch automatic. However, the T adds more aggressive PASM sports chassis option that drops the car nearly a full inch something not available on the standard model. It also adds the Sport Kona package and Porsche torque vectoring rear differential as standard equipment. And there's a shortened gear lever for manual equipped cars. Offering less options inside is said to offer more of a purest driving experience. Buyers can choose to delete the console mount infotainment system completely, swapping the screen for storage. Door handles become fabric loops to pull. The sport seats are electric, but offer just two way adjustments. Unfortunately, these weight saving measures are offset by the addition of a gasoline particulate filter. So overall weight and straight line performance are unchanged. Expect 0 to 60 times just under 5 seconds for both the Cayman and Boxster. On the flashy side, these vehicles ride on 20 inch wheels painted in a high gloss titanium gray. A tweaked dual oval rear exhaust helps identify the upgraded model in the back, should you happen to miss the T emblems. Gray mirror shells and additional badging help identify the model from the sides and front. And Porsche will also offer two special colors, Lava Orange and Miami Blue. Aside from the previously mentioned options and equipment, the T benefits from more branding inside on the instrument dials and door strips. Gloss black finish is applied to the dash and 718 stitching adorns the seat headrests. Both the 718 Cayman T and 718 Boxster T are available to order now.